Hi everyone, I'm Claire. Today I'm going to be making my personal favourite spacecraft, the Voyager. Voyager 1 and 2 are twin spacecraft set out to explore the outer planets. Voyager 2 launched on the 20th of August 1977, and a couple of weeks later, Voyager 1 launched on the 5th of September. They had to launch in late 1970 because the planets aligned in such a way that the spacecraft could visit all four giant outer planets by using the gravity of each planet to swing on to the next. This alignment only happens once every 176 years. They were built to last five years, but have now been exploring space for nearly 43 years. They are now over 10 billion miles from Earth. The Voyagers were to conduct close-up studies of Jupiter and Saturn. They discovered active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io and made many more discoveries. The mission was extended and Voyager 2 went on to explore Uranus and Neptune and is still the only spacecraft to have visited them. To make your own Voyager spacecraft, you're going to need some paper, card, toilet roll tubes, straws, foil, shiny paper, glue, sellotape, scissors and some pens. This is just what I used, but you can go through the recycling to see what else could be useful. You'll also need some pictures of Voyager. NASA has a great 3D interactive model on its website. I'm going to start by cutting out the high gain antenna. Cut out a circle of paper, or card would be better, but use what you have. I drew around a plate to give me a nice circle. The high gain antenna transmits data to Earth about the spacecraft's environment. They do this every day and it now takes about 20 hours for it to reach Earth. You need to make it into a dish shape, so cut a line to the middle and bring the edges together, overlapping, and stick it into place. This now needs to go on a base. I'm using a strip of cardboard I can bend round into a circle, and I can stick my antenna onto it. To go into space, it would need a thermal blanket to protect it from the extreme heat and cold and micrometeoroid impacts. The two spacecrafts are carrying a golden record, sort of like a time capsule. They have 115 images of life on Earth, and a variety of sounds, such as thunder, trains and animals. There's also music from different cultures and eras, like Johnny B. Good and Mozart, along with greetings from Earth people in 55 languages. Possibly my favourite is this one in Amoy. Friends of space, how are you all? Have you eaten yet? Come visit us if you have time. I traced round one of my toilet rolls to get the right size circle for my record. I have a gold pen I can colour it in with. Can't forget to put on the instructions for the aliens who might find it on how to play it and how to decode the images. It also has the location of our solar system, so maybe they can pop round for dinner. Make sure you stick it the right way up. Now for some instruments. They have cameras that were able to capture amazing images of the outer planets. I'm making my cameras from toilet roll tubes and wrapping them in tin foil. But first, I need something to stick my cameras onto. I'm making an arm out of cardboard. Sixty frames were put together to create a self-portrait of the solar system from a distance of more than four billion miles from Earth. The cameras were turned off in 1990 to save power. Adding another instrument, I decided to make an ultraviolet spectrometer from a piece of black card folded into a cube. It uses ultraviolet light to spot when certain atoms or ions are present. I measured out a net for a cube, cut it out and scored the edges, and stuck it together. Turns out glue doesn't like me either. We need something to power our spacecraft. The Voyagers each have three radioisotope thermoelectric generators. Unlike most satellites, 
Voyager can't use solar panels for power, as they travel too far from the Sun to use them. The RTGs, also used on other deep space missions, convert the heat produced from the natural radioactive decay of plutonium into electricity to power the spacecraft instruments, computers, radio and other systems. I'm making mine from a kitchen roll tube covered in black paper, adding some gold dots for more detail. It was very therapeutic. I secured it to another toilet roll. Using two paper straws, I add on the planetary radio astronomy and plasma wave antenna. Plasma is the fourth state of matter. It behaves like a gas, but it conducts electricity and is affected by magnetic fields. It's quite common. The sun and stars are made of plasma. Lightning and neon lights contain this as well. By studying plasma, scientists could determine when the probes left our solar system and entered interstellar space. Voyager 1 in 2012 and Voyager 2 in 2018. Voyager 1 is the furthest man-made object from Earth. Both probes are still exploring the space between the stars. My wrapping paper tube is perfect to be the magnetometer, which measured the outer planets and the sun's magnetic field, and is looking at the difference in interstellar space. It looks kind of like a piece of scaffolding, so I'm drawing on the pattern. I made some tabs so it could attach easier. I think the glue and the sellotape are conspiring against me. There you have your very own Voyager spacecraft. Voyager 1 and 2 are expected to continue operating at least one instrument until 2025. They could be in range to send back data till around 2036, depending on how much power they have. Even if they can no longer send back data, they'll still be travelling through space at over 30,000 miles per hour, with the gold record just waiting to be played. I need a longer broom.